Hi everybody, it is April and I'm in my craft room. Let's make some sewing machine covers. I have several sewing machines that need covers. They come with covers, but those covers, they're not as cute as what I think I can make. I got this panel. Cute little camper cover. I actually made it. I actually got two and I made the first one. I don't have it anymore. Somebody, and I'm not going to name any names, Sherry, has it on her cup turner. So, I'm going to make it again. She got the practice one, so you know. And this one, it came together really quickly. I am going to use my serger for the majority of it. But, it's got all the directions. It tells you exactly what to do exactly where to cut and it is adorable so the beauty of this panel is like i said you've got all the directions you've got all the cut lines so i have all of my pieces cut out and I did end up using my rotary cutter. That made it quite a bit easier. Now I need a stabilizer. And my instructions say, iron on fusible interfacing to front, back, top, and gusset. So what I'm going to do is bring my ironing board up here and I'm going to lay out my interfacing with the fusible side up and put my pieces on so that I can just iron them directly onto the interfacing but I want I don't want to expose any of this glue or I want to expose as little of this glue as possible because I don't want it on my iron. Although I believe my iron is kind of a Teflon surface, but you know, I still don't wanna take that chance. So, and all of these are the same width, the top, the, the bottom, Well, the top and the two sides, <laughs> there really isn't a bottom. All right, so let's start out with this. So I'll just kind of slide my ironing mat under. And then here, I want to press more than iron because essentially what I'm doing is I'm melting the glue under the fabric. So I'm going to be using my serger for the majority of this project. And I've raised the presser foot because I'm going to be using thicker material through my serger. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of hemming, top stitching the pockets on each end, I'm just going to serger them. I've gotten to the point where if I can use my serger, that is what I'm going to do. Fold handle in half lengthwise, right side quarter inch stitch on one end, leave an opening. 
All right, so I am going to serger my, whoops, <laughs> right sides together. I almost messed up. Now I need to turn it right side out. This tool that I've never been able to figure out what to use it for, maybe this will be helpful. Looky there! I think I may have finally found what I can use this for. So here are the yellow dots right here. And this is where I am going to attach my handle. I decided I wanted to serger the ends. My handle is done. With wrong sides together, stitch top of cover front and top of cover back to the long sides of the cover top. What we're going to do It's going to take the front and the back, this happens to be the back, and we're going to attach it to the top. And I'm going to do this with my serger. So with a serger, I need to be careful and make sure that my sides line up. And that's one reason that I raised my presser foot. It says to him at last, I want to hem it first. Because to me that just seems easier. Now I'm going to do that to the bottom of the camper. So all my sides are going to have that serger bottom. So the trick to this is paying attention to where your seam is. I'm going to put my pocket here, make sure it's on the bottom. And I'm going to line the bottoms up, which still have that line, so I've got that. I'm going to put that on my sewing machine. Okay, so I'm going to sew until I come to the seam, the top seam. I'm going to back stitch. going to line, make sure everything's lined up. I want to go one more. I always forget to put my foot down. Okay, so now my needle is down. I am in the upright position. I'm going to swing this around and I want to actually, because there's so much, I am not quite to the edge. So I want to go one more stitch. Okay. So now I'm going to swing this around and I'm going to line it up. Just going to leave this where it is 
and turn your fabric to get these box corners. And it's really cool how it works out. Now you want to make sure that your little pocket is nice and straight when you do it. And let's see how it looks. Okay, this is what it looks like inside out. Let's turn it. How cute is that? Okay, so I do need to press it a little. That is how you make a cover from a panel. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope it helped you. The next time I'm going to make a cover using the Tula Pink fabric for my larger machine and I don't have a panel for that so I'll have to do that the old fashioned way and you know, make something up. So, thank you again. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Be kind to everyone, share this video with your friends, and I think that's it. So I'll say goodbye. <laughs> Seriously. So my pockets, they're the wrong way. Ah! Let me blah 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 blah.